Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I figured I'd just do a little video because I wanted to show you guys something uh, very special that my wife made me for Christmas. Um, as you might know, or actually probably don't know, I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but I actually have a whole lot of Nintendo Power magazines. I have tons. I probably have like 150 issues or so. And uh, so I guess you could say I'm kind of a collector, but I don't really care about the condition as long as they're nice enough. Uh, this is actually the reason why I like Nintendo Power is because of these posters. They're really good. Uh, she made me a Mega Man X poster and a Metroid poster. Very nice indeed. Um, but anyways... Uh, this spot right behind me where you see Marilyn Monroe and Catherine Hepburn or whatever. Yeah, that spot's going to be mine for these posters. And uh, she made me a few more so that, you know, I'd have a nice variety. I got Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Eh, I don't know. I'm not a huge Sonic fan, but it's a nice poster, so why not? And... Um, Got another Metroid one, Super Metroid. I'm actually really excited about this because this one is pretty much my favorite Super Nintendo game ever. This is just freaking awesome. Like, the artwork is really nice on this poster, particularly. Um, but this one's actually my favorite one. Uh, this is uh, Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse for the Nintendo. Um, just excellent artwork on this one, as you might be able to see. I'll just uh, kind of hand it a little bit, you know, so you can see how awesome it is. Uh, one thing you might notice is a little cut off. Uh, that's because the Nintendo Power posters were uh, kind of weird size. They're about more or less roughly one foot by two foot, but it's actually like, I don't know, 11 inches or so, actually 11 inches by two foot. So, uh, you know, all these had to have a little bit cut off. It wasn't really cut off, but it was uh, folded weird. And the last one there's another one I really like too with Star Fox and uh, you know it's pretty sweet you know even though it's just pretty much the same graphic as what's on the game box you know it's very nice indeed so um, you know they're definitely gonna go up there so anytime I do a video in the future you'll see those posters hanging up there and I probably plan on getting some more made like that so that you know I can kinda substitute them out and uh, you know, have like a variety of different things. You know, it's like, you know, most gamer rooms you see, they have just posters tacked on the walls. You know, it's kind of, kind of lame looking to be honest with you. I mean, of course, you know, my wife, she has the fashion sense. So it's kind of good that, uh, that I have her so that I can, you know, have a nice little kick-ass, you know, spot in the room. But anyways, um, uh, what was I going to say? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so anyways, you know, you can get these frames for pretty cheap if you ever wanted to do something like this. Uh, I believe she paid like three or four dollars a piece from Walmart for these types of frames. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty nice present, you know, that she gave me. I mean, it took a lot of thought. And so we'll just, you know, kind of show all these one more time here. Super Metroid, you know, Castlevania, of course. And you already saw Star Fox for like the last minute and a half. And uh, Sonic Adventure 2. And then Mega Man X and the original Metroid, which actually this is Metroid 2 for the Game Boy, but um, it doesn't say Metroid 2, it just says Metroid, so, you know, it could go either way, really. So, yeah, very nice posters, I really enjoy the designs of them. You know, I got several posters that I've still got to look through, you know, I have uh, several that are still in the magazines, but um, I'll show you what else I got. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got tons of these. This stack here is nothing 
but Nintendo Power Posters. And, like I said, I still haven't looked through a lot of them. So, uh, well, apparently not nothing but Nintendo Power Posters. I also have a, a map of Red Dead Redemption. Um, this is from the Chainsaw Controller for the PlayStation 2, Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller. And here's the manual for that. I don't know how those got mixed in there. You know how it is. So, um, I'm just going to show you a few more here. <laughs> King Griffey Jr., baby. Uh, I guess this was the original King Griffey Jr. baseball game for a Super Nintendo. Uh, Pokemon, got to catch them all. Got to love Pokemon. I'm actually going to give that to my friend Wolf King Caw because he's... A huge Pokemon freak. I don't know why. He's always been that way. He probably always will be. And, um... I think this is the one for the Super Nintendo. But... Maybe it's the Nintendo 64 one. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one's just kind of a poster that shows you all the various Nintendo Power covers. Um, it's actually double-sided, so... You know, kind of representing both the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64 to some degree. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this one's kind of terrible, but the game's good, I guess. I mean, I didn't know that they actually released this for Super Nintendo. It's Mortal Kombat Competition Edition. It's actually like a special edition of uh, the Mortal Kombat cartridge. I believe it's supposed to be like an updated version of Mortal Kombat 1. I'm pretty sure it never actually came out, but I might be wrong. Um, let's see. You know, all these posters have like different strategies and stuff. Like this one right here has kind of like a strategy guide type deal for Pilot Wing 64. And on the other side, we got Donkey Kong Country 3. Um, I don't really have any of the computer graphics type posters because. Nintendo Power was huge on doing those back in Nintendo 64 era. A lot of the posters just looked downright awful. Uh, so, probably won't hang up too many of those unless it's just kind of for a laugh. Uh, here's another really bad one. Uh, this is Doom 64. Oh, that, that is terrible. But it's not the worst I have. You know, trust me on that. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I got a ton of terrible posters on here. Barkley Shut Up and Jam. You know, not shut up and jam gated. That wasn't a Super Nintendo game. So. Uh, go figure on that, huh? Uh, let's see what else we got here. I got a ton of them to look through, folks. Uh, here's another sports one. Fox Sports College Hoops 99. Like, seriously, who would hang this up in their room? You know, uh, I don't really get it. But, on the other hand, we got uh, Bomberman. I believe it's a Bomberman Hero uh, strategy on the back. Um, yeah, probably never going to use that because probably will never use that poster. Uh, shoot. I got all these freaking posters. It's crazy. This one's actually a very different one for Nintendo Power because as you can see, it's kind of like half poster and half advertisement. Um, Oh, well, maybe that's not the poster. I, I have no idea which both side is supposed to be the poster. I guess both sides could be. But, uh, yeah, it is probably an advertisement because it's got Xbox and PlayStation logos on there. Nintendo wouldn't willingly show that on the poster, so... It was probably like a paid advertisement. You know, I figure, why not? We'll show those logos if, uh, if we get paid a nice sum for it. Uh, WWF Warzone. Um... Not a bad wrestling game. It's obviously not as good as the THQ ones, but I'm actually surprised uh, at, uh, you know, that it, it is kind of a re revolutionary wrestling game because the later wrestling games like SmackDown borrow from that game as far as controls more than they do the uh, old THQ wrestling games, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, here's another terrible one for... A terrible game. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would like this one, right? Speaking of Doom 64, instructions, you know, for that. And um, this is actually not a poster at all. This was something I cut out of a uh, computer gaming magazine right here. 
Uh, I believe it was for a game from 3DO called Requiem. Um, I don't know. I always love this picture. This is just great artwork. Very uh, uh, Seth, uh, Seth McFarlane, <laughs> Todd McFarlane-esque um, art. You know, He might have did art for that game. I have no idea. I'll probably look it up. But uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, so I cut that out. And... <laughs> Uh, speak of the devil, uh, another 3DO game, uh, Battle Tanks for the N64. That was actually a pretty fun game, but the poster just looks downright awful, so. Uh, by the way, if I'm going too fast for you guys, you can always just pause the video to look at the poster. Um, you know, like, I mean, you, that's, that's, that's totally cool if you want to pause the video. And, uh,. Oh, um, this is probably the worst poster that I have. Forsaken for the Nintendo 64. Um, words can't describe how terrible this poster is. I mean, it's just downright awful. Try to get it panned out a little bit so you can get a better view of it. Yeah. Uh, maybe some of these posters will remind you guys of stuff. Uh, Oh, this is huge right here. Ah, damn it, I just ripped it. <laughs> I just ripped this, trying to show this off. Um, but it's a uh, huge, you know, full-color, you know, Metal Mario. As you can see there. Um, I'll have to be careful with that one. But that one was very nice. Uh, I might have to figure something out. The only thing is, this whole, the source for Nintendo 64... They can lose that, can't they? Uh, let's see. I got another Mortal Kombat one. I got I got some duplicates. Uh, I try to keep the duplicates in the magazine, but sometimes I forget and just rip it off. Uh, this isn't a, a poster at all. This is actually a little cheat sheet for some old Nintendo games. Uh, you remember, I don't know if you remember the, uh, the strategies, things that they used to have in Nintendo Power where they give you tips and tricks and cheat codes. You know, basically, Nintendo Power was the place to get cheat codes back in the day. And, uh, you know, there's all kinds of crazy cheat codes. Um, there's actually the 30 lives code for Contra right there. Pretty sweet. Um, but, yeah, you know, uh, there's a lot of these cheat codes that are probably not even on the Internet. I mean, that's the least I've seen. I've seen a lot of the uh, FAQs on some old Nintendo games, and... Didn't really see any. I actually found cheat codes for crazy stuff like Extra Lives and um, Silver Surfer and stuff like that. You know, it might actually make the game playable. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not a poster, though. So I have no idea how it got in there. Um, oh, this one you might like. Uh, this is Demon's Crest for the Super Nintendo. Um, you know, basically the Gargoyles Quest games. Uh, I believe Lophead Jello just recently... Reviewed him, uh, in case you don't know who that is, happy video game there. there. So, uh, yeah, check that out. Um, oh, Tailspin. I got a, actually a couple duplicates of this. Tailspin for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't remember, remember this cartoon, but, uh, yeah, not, not a bad looking poster, you know, definitely, definitely a cartoon. Um, it's probably just, uh, you know, the cover art from the game, but whatever. And, um, Weapon Lord for the Super Nintendo. Um, this was like a really freaking hyped uh, fighting game. Uh, not by Nintendo Power, but by GamePro. I remember I, I used to subscribe to GamePro too, and they just hyped the hell out of this game. They had this game featured for like five magazines. And it ultimately, it was a good concept with how they tried to do the controls and stuff, but the gameplay, like a it was just too complicated, you know, like, uh, I mean, it didn't play bad. If you actually knew how to play it, it played pretty good, but it was really complicated and the AI was cheap, you know. So you had Mortal Kombat AI, except you couldn't figure out the moves, like, half the time. Um, so, yeah. But the game had, like, great 2D art design. I love the art on that game. Uh, here's Primal Rage, another fighting game. Um, this one, not so much. Uh, <laughs> um, I didn't like that one at all. But, um... Uh, I guess it, there, there was a lot worse fighting games than that, too. But it definitely, you know, paled compared to the good ones. Um, Rock and Roll Racing. This is back in the roots of Blizzard. Blizzard made this game 
I don't know, maybe a year before Warcraft and everything changed, you know, for them, basically. So, yeah, go figure. Uh, Donkey Kong Land, here's another example of really bad computer graphic arts in a uh, Nintendo Power poster, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of their CGI posters, I guess you could say. I don't know what the I stand for. I know CG is like computer graphics or whatever. Uh, this one's not bad, though. This one actually is pretty nice, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. I think I like this one because it actually has some nice little details on it, and uh, it's a very crisp and clear poster. I probably am going to hang up that one um, as one of my near-future ones. It's pretty nice. Uh, the Incredible Hulk for the Super Nintendo. Um, thoughts on that poster? It's okay, I guess. Um, it's very comic book-esque, but I don't know. I'm just... It's okay. You know, it's nothing to brag about. Got a lot of these posters. Well, here's a, this one's kind of a bad one here. This is uh, Facebook 2000. This was like one of the original first-person shooter games. Like, it was probably the first first-person shooter on the Super Nintendo. You basically run around in a maze as a happy face shooting pellets, you know. It's basically like a 3D Pac-Man or something. I mean, that, that was a first-person shooter also. It had a split-screen mode. I mean, you might want to check that one game out, you know. It was, it was fun, I thought. I mean, nowadays it's probably really stupid, but <laughs> I had fun with it back then. Um, here's Booger Man. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet, Booger Man. Um, I played that on the Sega, not on the Super Nintendo, but I'm sure it's pretty much the same. Um, but well, maybe not. You know, actually, a lot of the um, you know multiple port games back then were different versions, uh, definitely different than what you would see nowadays, um, where it's basically the same, except the PS3 version might crash a lot, like in Skyrim or something. Um, here's a uh, Water World. I'm not sure if this game actually even came out for the Virtual Boy. This is what this poster is for. Um, but interestingly enough, they had Waterworld games for other systems like Super Nintendo also, but they were only released in Europe or something weird like that. So, go figure. Um, yeah. I don't have to pick up all these freaking posters. They're just all laying on the ground. So, that's dumb. Uh, <laughs> now, game I like, poster I hate... Jet Force Gemini. Game's pretty awesome, but the poster, not so much. Yeah. Okay, then we got uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, this this one's probably one of the worst I've had. If it's not uh, if it's not Forsaken, it's probably this. This is just downright terrible. And it only has Diddy Kong and stupid elephant, which isn't even a playable character. You figure they'd at least have more playable characters on this. You know, they could spring for some banjo or some conquer or something, but no. No, they gotta have some stupid elephant. I think it was a boss or something. Um, this poster's pretty terrible. Uh, this is a uh, WC vs. NW World Tour. Great game. Terrible poster. I don't know if you could tell it, but the reason why it's terrible is because they decided to use some kind of watercolor effect for it and it just doesn't work. You know, it's it's really terrible looking if you know what I mean. So, you know, as I, hopefully that close-up was good enough uh, to show that game off, or that poster off. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, this one's really a really cheaply made poster as far as the, the uh, backgrounds and everything, but uh, I kind of like how Banjo and Kazooie look there. They definitely look like they should in the, in the game. So, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else here. Okay, um, this one's probably gonna remind some people of a bad video game, Bubsy. <laughs> uh, basically, the Super Nintendo's version of Sonic the Hedgehog, I guess you could say. Um, they had it on the Genesis 2, I know, but, uh... I, you know, I actually didn't think that game was that bad. It played alright. I mean, it wasn't as good playing as Sonic, but, uh... It definitely had the speed part down. I liked the graphics of it. It just wasn't that great of a game. 
Um, this one's actually interesting. Uh, it's a terrible poster, by the way, too, as you can tell. Uh, but this is a game called Robotech Crystal Dreams. Um, this game was originally going to come out for Nintendo 64, and then later on they said, no, we're going to use a Nintendo 64 disk drive, which only came out in Japan at the time, but they were planning a release in the U.S. And then they just eventually canceled the game. It was like in development for five years or something like that. I mean, whatever. You know. It was like it was like one of the first games announced for Nintendo 64, like... You know, you had Mario 64, Pilot Wing 64. That was probably like, probably one of the first five games announced for the system, uh, at least by a third-party company. Um, now, I don't have a lot of uh, the GameCube era posters because they kind of stopped doing posters during the GameCube era. But I do have this one from Minority Report. Um, pretty ugly-looking poster, but uh, I don't know if you're a Minority Report fan, maybe you'd want it. Oh, I got tons of these. Uh, and it, this is a nice poster, too. Bart Simpsons versus the Space Mutants. Um, I'm actually considering hanging this one up, but I think I want to get a frame that's longer because I don't want to cut anything off at all. Uh, the entire poster is great. So that's the reason why I didn't really uh, put in one of those because I want to show the whole poster. Um, I, I would say I'm a pretty big Simpsons fan as far as like more recent Simpsons, not so much. But, um, you know, I think people give some unfair slack to The Simpsons lately. I mean, I know it's not the same. It doesn't have Matt Groening anymore. He was really the brains behind the show. It would be like if you got rid of uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone from South Park, you know. That show would just plummet. But, um, you know, interestingly enough, you know, I used to be a family guy kind of guy, but... I don't know, Seth MacFarlane just doesn't do it for me anymore. I actually got several of these Simpsons posters. They, pretty much every Simpsons game in the Nintendo era has a poster from Nintendo Power. Uh, so here's Krusty's Fun House. I mean, you got to remember, back in these days, it was the early 90s, Simpsons was, it was Family Guy, more or less. You know, It was the top of the chain. Uh, there weren't really any more, any other cartoon shows at the time, you know. Uh, the Simpsons kind of revived cartoon shows uh, being in prime time, you know. They used to be something that they had during the 60s with, like, the Flintstones and Jetsons, you know, the early 70s. But then it just kind of disappeared. Um, it's a game nobody's probably ever heard of. It's called Wings 2. Um, I don't know where the first Wings went. I guess it was a, probably a, t a PC title because uh, I never heard of a first Wings game. But, yeah, it's a World War II shooting game. You know, flight sim. Um, this poster I'm just not a big fan of. I, I really don't know why. It just really lacks the flair. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just the cheesy text that they have here for Batman, the animated series. It just, yeah, it's pretty lame. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this is hilarious. Um, this poster is like Legos. <laughs> a blaster Master for the Nintendo. And it, see, seriously, it looks like looks like a Lego car or something like that. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Um, it, it is a terrible poster, but uh, but it's terrible in a good way. <laughs> I like how it's like it's like advertisement for a a toy or something. You know, it's great. Uh, almost down to the end here, folks. So. Um, this is actually a pretty nice poster. I mean, I'm not a huge Looney Tunes fan, but uh, definitely, definitely a nice poster. I'm sure the game's freaking terrible. Uh, most of the Looney Tunes games are, but the uh, poster's nice, so I'll have to admit that. And uh, let's see here. We got. Uh, oh, here's another Mega Man. This is Mega Man X2. Um, potentially this was actually nicer than the original Mega Man X poster, but this was one that wasn't taken out of a magazine yet. Uh, my wife only looked through uh, the ones I had out of the magazine at the time whenever she made those first two for me, the Mega Man X and the Metro posters. So There we go. And here's another Mega Man poster. This one's not bad. Um, this is Mega Man 3. It actually shows uh, pictures of all the uh, different villains. 
as well as uh, the end boss villain, of course, you know, Dr. Wily and his huge ass robot. So, yeah, um, this is one of my favorite Mega Man games, if not the favorite. Uh, I played the hell out of that game. I probably beat it like eight times back in the day. Nowadays, I can't even get to Dr. Wily's castle, but uh, go figure. I, I play newer video games because it makes us gamers soft. Uh, this is a pretty nice poster. Felix the Cat. Uh, this is a really old cartoon series. And for whatever reason, um, Hudson Soft decided to bring it back in a video game. Um, near the end of the NES lifespan. I'm sure it probably didn't work out that good. I heard the game's alright, though. I hear it's nice. Uh, oh, this one's great. Um, it's Ninja Gaiden 2, The Dark Sword of Chaos. It is really a bad poster, but I just... Love the look on this guy's face. I mean, it just says it all. It really does. And it's funny because uh, the back of this poster shows various ninja hardware, like shurikens and and all that good stuff. You know, katanas, you know, whatever ninja gear you might be interested in. Yeah. Uh, down to the last two here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing, I don't know, actually a poster, but if you want to order, uh, various games for the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo and stuff, you know, this would have been a really good deal back in the days, uh, because, because, okay, here's an example of some of the stuff that they have on here, like, they had Super Nintendo games for $30, um, and just to give you an idea of when this uh, came out, uh, look for a date here. <laughs> um, I can't really find one. Okay, well it says offer ends February 28th, 1994. So that might give us a little bit of indication of the time era that this was going on. But uh, they had um, Super Nintendo games, you know, there are older games like F-Zero, and Pilot Wings, they were for 30 bucks. That's pretty cheap for games back then, you know. Um, you know, people complain about game prices nowadays. Super Nintendo NES games were regularly $50, $60 before you adjust for inflation. So when you adjust for inflation, that's like 80 or 90 bucks for those games. Um, or more even. I, I don't know. I'm not a, eco a, 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 a economist or whatever. Economist. But, um, okay, and then they have, like, various uh, Nintendo games for $20, and there's some good ones on here. There's uh, Final Fantasy, Star Tropics, Zelda 2, Metroid, the original Zelda, Dr. Mario, and then they had some great uh, deals on some of their controllers, like the NES Advantage, the Four Score uh, multiplayer adapter, you know, so... Um, yeah, I mean, those were like 20 30 bucks also. And then they had the NES Max for 15 So, pretty good deals. And then they have uh, Game Boy games for only, only 10 or 15 bucks on back here. Uh, like uh, Kicks and Solar Striker, Play Action Football. Um, I've never heard of any of those games. Except for, well, Play Action Football. I remember that one from Nintendo, but uh, NES. But, yeah. So, I have no idea why I showed all that. I mean, talked about that. that. This is probably the highlight of the video, I'm sure. Okay, this is the last one. Hopefully it's not a loser. Metal Storm. Game is great. Um, not too sure about the poster. It's kind of got that uh, Blaster Master vibe going on, if you know what I mean. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. Maybe it's just because I like the game. Or the logo, at least. Uh, but yeah, that's, um, that's my... Poster collection, guys. Uh, I got a bunch, and you know, this is this is even tipping the surface. Like I said, by the way, I have several more magazines that I have to go through and take the posters out of, and I got posters from other games, like the Grand Theft Auto games and all that. You know, the various other posters that you get, uh, and uh, I got a Fallout 3 poster, and, and uh, I actually showed that before once on a video a couple of years back. So, with that, guys, down Phoenix out.